Welcome to Cherrywood Live, Fabric to Die For. I am Carla Overland and I'm the owner of Cherrywood Hand Dyed Fabric in Brainerd, Minnesota. Welcome. I'm glad you joined me tonight. I'm gonna do a little um, pre-recorded videos for you tonight because we are doing some construction here and it's a little bit loud and I'm not quite sure about the technology. So I pre-recorded a tour of what it would be like if you would come to Minnesota and visit us and uh, walk into our showroom. Now while you're watching the video, I am uh, flashing on there what the product is, the name of the pattern or the kit and the price. Um, so you can write down anything that interests you or in the comments you can write um, write it down and I'll, I'll go through all the comments and answer any questions. Um, after the show tonight and mainly I want to tell you that all of the um, eight step gradations well I guess it'll, you'll see this in the video but this is an eight step gradation because there are eight colors and we bundle them together and this is all 100% cotton we hand dye it to look like suede and that happens right here in the studio at Cherrywood so when things open up again we do give tours of our studio we invite you to come and shop in our showroom and um, you can see how we make this and um, of course it's tactile so it's really nice that you can see all of our colors and touch and feel them and um, yeah we just wish that we could see you at a quilt show or um, come visit us so enjoy this little video So here we are. Welcome to Cherrywood. When you first walk in, we want everyone to be bowled over with color. And I'm just going to start right here with our sign. And this is kind of our purple corner prints and the, all the, the challenge fabric and books and all of our bundles that have purple in it. And we have these custom made little shelves that hold all of our bundles. The yard size bundles are on top. Half yard bundles. And then the fat quarter bundles. And these are our eight step gradations. So there's eight colors in the bundle. And here we've put, this is some of our softer colors. This is the Bob Ross collection from the Bob Ross challenge. And then we've got onyx to light. We call our black onyx. Great neutrals with all of our grays. This is the best way to get all of our grays. Tuxedo. 
That's one of our newer ones, and it's a great masculine quilt. We have a pattern called In and Out that it just looks perfect in, or Googly would be another great pattern for it. This is our Potter's Wheel collection. This is our lightest, lightest collection. Eight colors of just very barely their color. And this is our darkest one. This collection is called Midnight Garden. Real rich colors. The darker the color, the more suede texture you're going to see. So I really love this one. And our chestnut to light. This chestnut is the first step and then they get lighter and lighter and lighter. So we call it chestnut to light. And then up here, <laughs> we actually have some recycled lint because when we clean out our dryers, of course our lint is cherry wood colors. And you can, uh, we don't throw anything away around here. So you can use the, the lint and kind of treat it like paper mache. And you can make things like um, Easter eggs or little acorns. Those are real acorn tops. And then the nut itself is made out of cherry wood lint. And you can also, here's our Easter eggs. Aren't those gorgeous? And here is our reminder that the Diana Cherrywood Challenge is still going on. It has been extended until the end of the year since this has been such a interesting year. We are extending the deadline. So there's the beautiful four colors that you get in the packet. And all you have to do is make a small quilt, 20 inches square, and come up with a original design, something that reminds you of Diana or something that inspired you about Diana. And we have lots of entries that have come in already, but now you've got more time. Now this little display is just a a quick overview for when you first stop in the store, you can see all of the patterns that we carry, or most of the patterns. These you can get in the kits as you see them, the samples that we make up. We also have clothing patterns. And that's what we have in the corner here. All of those this is all of our patterns you can flip through. Both designed by myself or designed by other designers. And here's our wall of eight steps. These stars are actually made from um, the actual fabric. And this, sometimes we hang this in our show booth but it's a nice colorful wall in our store now. And you see our history of the Cherrywood Challenge with the sample of the fabric that was used and then kind of the statistics of how the challenge has grown over the years. And here's our little checkout station. That's our entire collection of books. We publish a book to go with every Cherrywood Challenge to um, showcase all of the beautiful quilts that were accepted into the uh, traveling exhibit. The gray uh, taupe quilt is called Round and Round. And over here we have our four steps. And up there we've got Wicked. That was what started the Cherrywood Challenge 
Wicked was the first one inspired by the Broadway musical. And we've got Grass Medley, as well as the Cherrywood Collection. You'll find little baskets of individual fat quarters. Our fat quarters are $5, and we've got them scattered around. Here's our pink medley on the right. Pink medley, plum medley, violet medley, turquoise medley. This is the bundle from Van Gogh. A little bit different turquoise and then it's put with more royal blue. There you see it in the yard size bundle, which is much more fun. Much more fun to pick up and fondle. Here is our teal medley. This is one of our best selling four steps. I think we just hit on just the right combination of blue green. Then we have the Prince collection that we saw earlier. These were the purples that were used in that glorious collection. Then we have Hot Medley. It's a collection of four. Kind of lipstick colors. I almost named this one lipstick. Um, just because I thought they were all great colors. Even the orange, I've seen orange lipstick. Hot and spicy. And that leads us to the orange medley. Again, just going, um, the darkest color just gets lighter and lighter. So great background um, for our applique. Here's our zest. Kind of a lemony yellow to a light orange. And this is the Lion King collection. That was our second challenge. And we use the rich earthy golden colors. And then this is our beige medley. I'm currently working on getting a nice wide range of skin tones because we all know that there is a very wide range of colors and they are all beautiful and we need all of them. So I wanted to point out that the Violet Medley and the Hot Medley and Zest were all designed to go together. So those colors change and gradually gradate. And now you've got a expanded version for a larger project. So that's what I really love about four steps. They're smaller collections that are easy, easy to build together and make your own color palette. Add it on to a, an eight step. And then below you'll see lots of the kits that are already made up and ready to pick up and take home with you. This is one of my newer patterns, Petal Palette. Here's the round and round Christmas wreath that we showed on our Christmas show. Great little gift in time for Christmas. And of course, chill is the newest pattern in our Buffalo check plaid background. We are in Brainerd, Minnesota. So we uh, grew up learning about Paul Bunyan and the, his blue ox babe. He was uh, in folklore and he wore a final shirt. He was a lumberjack.
There's a little bit of folklore for you. Here is the actual petal palette quilt. And all of its glory. This is using our color wheel gradations. We have 12 step color wheel in light, medium, dark. And I designed this pattern to show that off and it creates a stunning quilt. Blue quilt is our serenity. It's kind of folded up, but the word serenity is raw edge fused onto a background of simple nine patches. And the nine patches change in color and gradate and get darker towards the bottom, creating a beautiful background for hot air balloons. Tonight I'd like to talk about a pattern designer. Um, it's Purple Pineapple Studios. And Amy Bradley is the designer behind this. And I caught up with Amy uh, a couple days ago and we had a nice little chat. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Is that pineapple like permanently growing out of your head now? Or <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I, I wear it to all the shows and, and um, talks that I do and everything. and. If I'm not wearing it, people ask me where it is. <laughs> That's cool. You got to have a thing, right? So yeah. why did you name your company Purple Pineapple? It's just two of my favorite things. So oh. I just wanted something that was, that was unique and, and I purples my, I have purple everything. So. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about your business. Um, I think we came cross paths maybe a year ago or so, or maybe a little more than that. And I think you've been using cherry wood longer, but I don't think we met until fairly recently. So tell us about your business. I write um, quilt patterns and they're on postcards. They're five by seven inch uh, postcards. So all the instructions are on the backs of the postcards. So they're, um, you know, relatively easy designs. Well, not, you know, easy, easy, but easy to describe in just a few sentences or paragraphs. So they're usually um, kind of repeatable blocks that make up the whole quilt. Um, and they tend to lean a little more modern. But yeah, that's what I like about them. I, I yeah. like graphic nature of them. Mm -hmm. And I think just the, the postcard size is just so clever. And um, I've heard you talk about how, you know, what kind of design and thinking processes, how do you fit a whole pattern on a postcard? It's it's super hard <laughs> and I have so many quilts in my head that I'm never going to make because because I cannot fit them on that postcard. Um, so usually what I do is I find something that I think might fit and, and make it up and I write it and then I um, edit it down and edit it and edit it. I just keep editing it and editing it and making it the instructions, you know, less and less until it gets to the point where it doesn't really make sense and then I start adding back in to make sure that uh -huh. It all makes sense and it'll all fit on the postcards. Yeah, well, it forces you to be super clear. Yes, super they have to be very clear and very, um, you know, I can't repeat a lot of things. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to be um, showing two of the quilts. We have so many of your patterns that we want to make, but so far we have two patterns made up and um, we're going to be showing those tonight. And you were telling me that the quilt behind you. Yes, this one behind me, let me get out of the way here. This is, this is my newest uh, pattern and it'll be back from the printer next week. And um, I use, I've used cherry wood fabrics before a lot, but never on the cover of one of my um, patterns. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> yes, but when I saw your, like your echo echo that you did out of, out of my, my pattern, in your fabrics and it's just it's gorgeous and I was like well I need to put one of those one one a quilt out of her fabric on my on the cover of one of my patterns so that's why I chose this one okay, this one here <laughs> and then eight step um your eight step dies 
and it takes uh, three quarters of a yard. I know you don't do it in three quarters, so people could buy um, a yard of yours or maybe a half yard and a quarter yard, and a quarter yard bundle. Yeah. yeah. If they get them in the same dye lots. Yeah, that's super striking. And I love it because you're leaving large areas of cherry wood to just show off the color yes. and the spray texture. And it's gorgeous. Yeah. So simple, but very cool. We're going to have to uh, make up this sample. It's called berry wood. Berry wood. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that name? <laughs> made out of cherrywood fabrics and I used the kiwi berry bundle and it just it was it just seemed very berry like to me so that's why I used the berry. So how many patterns do you have in your line? Right now I have 39. Wow that's a lot. I usually do um, three to five new patterns for every quilt market. Um, so yeah this year this spring market I only had three which is the least amount that I've, I've ever had um, so I usually usually release you know about four patterns every market okay boy that keeps you busy always <laughs> coming up with new ones yep so what do you like about working with cherrywood and you know why did you select it for this newest quilt um, just the colors are so gorgeous and saturated and it just if they look like almost suede sort of and it's just I just love all your your gradations that I just I can't I do a lot of gradated quilts you know that go from one color to the next and it's just one of my favorite things and the fabrics are just the best colors and the best um, softness and feel to them I love them well, thank you yeah and it, I think um, people realize when they it's so pretty to buy the bundle of cherry wood, but when you yeah. actually are sewing with it and ironing it, and you know, it, it's just so easy to piece together because of that brushed kind of suede texture to it. So yeah. Yeah. I encourage people to not only buy the bundles, but to actually use them and sew with them. Cause you can. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I, have you guilty of <laughs> I have a couple of your other bundles that I'm not <laughs> using just cause it's, you know, it's hard to get them because they're so pretty. Yeah, that happens. That's okay. But we like great patterns like yours that people can say, oh, you know, I can use this bundle sitting right here in this cool mm -hmm. echo pattern and, you know, have it hanging on the wall so you can see it every day instead of just when you're organizing your sewing room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that echo echo quilt because the your patterns are postcard size. Mm -hmm. You know, I read the numbers of what size it was, but I didn't realize until we made it like, wow, that's really dramatic because it's large. It's pretty big, yeah. Yeah. So um, we have nice uh, high ceilings here at Cherrywood in the showroom. So I want to put it up high and, you know, so when people walk in, they can just be bowled over by the graphic nature of it. Um, my mom was a designer and she's very... Um, very artsy and so I learned everything I know from her basically and I've been sewing since I was you know six or seven. So. Now did you guys have a quilt shop at one time? My mom did yeah she had a quilt shop in Appleton about half hour south of Green Bay Wisconsin. She was the my test market for all my patterns when they first came out um, you know like five years ago she was the first one to to try them all and see what worked and what didn't so that was that was valuable for me. Yeah very valuable. I send them out to um, to testers that I don't know personally, like they're all over the country. Um, so I do send my patterns out to, to people to have tested to see if there's errors or anything with them when they're piecing them. Um, so you sell your patterns at uh, local quilt shops. Yep. And um, do you have a website? I do. It's purplepineapplestudio.com. And can people order patterns um, singly from you? Yep, you can order singly from me, and this one is at the printer right now, um, but it'll be back um, next week. So it'll be it's on my website right now to available to purchase. So if people want to purchase it, I will send it out as soon as I get it back from the printer. Yeah, very cool. So again, that would work in any eight-step gradation, and uh, you could do a half-yard bundle and a fat-quarter bundle, or you could just bite the bullet and get the full-yard bundle and. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to chat with me. And um, well, thanks for having me. We hope to sell lots of your patterns. And again, people can check you out at purplepineapplestudio.com, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Isn't she creative? She has so many patterns that I would love to make up and then, you know, we just need to find time to make them all. But as you can see behind me, this is Echo Echo. It's a very large quilt. And this is the kit that we have for it, Echo Echo. And these are the patterns. When she talked about postcards, this is what she's talking about. They retail for $3.50. So they're a great price. Everything you need is on the back of them. And we have um, kitted up one of our four steps, which, oh, I have right here. <laughs> so this is the four step hot medley. And this was the perfect pattern for this because it calls for five colors. So we took that bright orange, red, orange, hot pink, and violet, and then our yardage color of the sunshine. And that made up those five triangles. These are just huge half square triangles, which is a very basic shape in quilting. So great for beginners because they are such large blocks. Um, and then this is all one strip border. So in the kit, you get a two yard piece of um, background fabric. And we also have a different colorway. I'm gonna stand out of the way. Um, so we made a colorway that was more like the, the picture on the pattern using some of our colors from Renaissance. So this kit is also on the website as a option. So we have the bright kit and the fall kit, I think she's calling this. So since we are talking about these patterns tonight, they will be found on the live tab of our website. On the main um, menu across the top of our website, on the far right, we have a tab for live um, products that I talk about on Thursday nights. And also, while you're there, scroll down below because we have some um, products that I I have talked about that we are just adding um, one-of-a-kind items, some over-dyed fabrics and lace pieces from Wendy Richardson, um, and you just never know what you'll find on that tab, so check back often. So again, this is Echo Echo. I want to show you how long it is. I believe the size is 60 by 80. Great lap quilt. Or dramatic a dramatic wall hanging to brighten up your house now the other pattern that we have from purple pineapple is switchback it's hard to show because it's shiny switchback and that is this quilt here and this has 12 colors in it so it was perfect for our dark color wheel um, it was just meant to be. And again, here is the block. And instead of a half square triangle, it's cut, you know, halfway through. So it's a little uh, wonky kind of half square triangle. So very easily to easy to put together. Um, we have kits in that colorway, which is our uh, 12 step color wheel in dark. And then we also made up one in these colors, which is our Arizona bundle, plus the four-step teal de medley that's so popular. So that, that's what I was talking about in the video. It's so fun to put an eight-step and a four-step together to create your own collection of 12 colors. That just continues the gradation. And actually, we kind of divided it a little bit and and used all of the Arizona colors. And instead of adding the teal on this end of the quilt, we put it next to the contrasting color so that it kind of looks like a horizon line. 
like the teal is maybe the sky and then the rest of the terracotta colors are more like mountains. And then the quilting can be very simple. This one was done in simple wavy lines and, and kind of clouds. And then farther down, it followed more of the echoing the, the mountain kind of feel. So again, this is Switchback by Purple Pineapple Studio. This quilt measures 36 inches by 51 inches. And the kit for this is $63.50. And I don't think I said the price of the kit for Echo Echo. Um, Echo Echo, this larger quilt here, the kit price for that is $123.50. And, oh, actually, you get three yards of background and five uh, different colors for those big triangles. So check out Purple Pineapple Studio. She has many cool patterns to look at. I have one more quilt I need to show you. This is a was a, a recent find for me, and actually in the last quilt show I went to, um, we connected with the designer is Barbara Klein, and she is she teaches a lot and writes a lot of patterns. And I just got to know her. And she approached me and said she was writing this pattern for a star and really wanted to use cherry wood. And I see why, because the, the re result is beautiful. So the pattern is called Diamond Chain Star. And the quilt is 41 inches square. And it's a beautiful take on the, the Texas star or Lone Star. And the colors used in this are Texas Ranch. And then the gold is the Lion King four-step gradation, just to punch it up and have a nice contrast with um, the Texas Ranch. So these colors are out of um, Lion King. And then the background color is our buttercream. And that used to be our lightest color, but now that we have found a white that feels just as good as the rest of our chair would be have white so check think about this quilt um, if you've never tried a texas star this would be a great pattern for you because it's so well written it's a smaller um, version and it is called diamond chain star Oh, I almost forgot I need to tell you about the classes. I've got online workshops, and I'm calling them plays. And the first one is coming up very soon. Uh, I talked about it last week a little bit. And it's going to be the mini star storm. The pattern is designed by Victoria and Leigh Wolf. And we are going to get together and just sew for four hours and see how far we can get. And I bet we can get this top done. Um, it's going to be a Zoom class. So we're, um, I will be sewing out of my home studio. And you'll, for four hours, we will sew together. I'm going to have some um, direction. And then we'll set aside some time to sew. And um, Q&A, so you can raise your hand. And you can actually talk to me. And... Um, this will be my first Zoom online class, so um, this is a good experiment to see what works and what doesn't. And we only have a limited um, amount of students that we can take because of the number of kits and patterns that we have available. So the class has been filling up pretty fast, and we have um, probably mm, 10 spots or less left. So on the website, this is called the Play Day. Uh, mini star and I'm holding up one color version that's available this version is called uh, soft and subtle and then we're also doing a Christmas version and a blue version that's kind of a Christmassy color because it's blues a little bit of purple and a gold in the middle and I think we have a fourth one. Oh, Dutch tulip so um, oranges and reds and it's a smaller version of the large, um, uh, the large star storm that we have on our website. 
So the great thing about these online workshops classes are they're just a hundred bucks. So for a hundred bucks, you get the fabric to do the, the project and that's enough for the top and the binding. Um, in a few of the cases, you may even get the backing fabric because um, we're just trying to keep them around a hundred bucks and um, the patterns included. And sometimes you may get um, something extra like a, a pen or maybe some fusible and really the class is almost free so we're just i just want to sew with you guys and help anybody get over that uh intimidation of you know i don't want to cut into my fairy wood so the first class is august 16th and we're going on a sunday afternoon from one to five o'clock um set this time aside for you you know close the door tell your family that you know, I'm unavailable. I am in a meeting and we'll, we'll have some fun. So the second class I'm doing is the cherry roll vine. This is our, has been our most popular pattern and it's all, the kit is pre-cut strips. So this is great. We can sit down and start sewing like right away. Um, I should mention that we do have a cutoff for these classes simply because we need time to send you the fabric before the class starts. There won't be any homework before the class, um, maybe a little bit of ironing to prep, but cherry roll vine will happen on September 20th. I think I have that day, right? And that's also a Sunday afternoon. And there are a few color choices for this as well. The color you see here is our hot and spicy. Um, again, these are pre-cut strips, two and a half inch strips. And we have two other color choices that you can choose from for the class. And one of them is actually the, the these colors, the subtle, um, soft and subtle, I think we call it. And then we have a, a brighter one that's called lilac bouquet. And then the next play day we're doing is kind of fun because I'm actually going to be at an actual retreat if all goes well. Um, we're scheduled to go to the North Star Retreat Center in Ashby, Minnesota on October 5th. And that whole week we are going to have an actual retreat. It's a huge place, so there's plenty of, it's very easy to keep our social distance. And I thought um, we're going to be doing this project is one of the choices for the retreat so you can join us virtually and these are Aussie critters this is a, a set of patterns from pattern pool out of Australia and we have the koala the kangaroo and the emu and for a hundred dollars you get the fabric to do all three of these um, fusible tops and um, we're going to throw in a marker and I'm going to show you how I do this little tattooing effect so a lot of fun fast and easy we're setting aside four hours um, so you, you may not even need it it's going to be so fun um, I'll talk to you about using misty fuse which oh there it is which is a wonderful soft lightweight fusible that um, misty fuse and it comes this is just a tiny little sample but um, we're going to be carrying larger pieces of it I really like misty fuse because it's so thin it's just the actual just the um, the sheet of fusible with no paper so it's just a beautiful <laughs> webbing of glue. So since this is so different, there it's a little bit different method of using, and you do need to use um, pressing cloths. Um, they have a product called Goddess Pressing Sheets, which are just wonderful because nothing sticks to these. So every package comes with the directions on how to use this product. The best thing is after you use the fusible the it doesn't change the feel of the fabric 
it's still very drapey and soft and subtle and easy to sew through, easy to quilt through. Um, and we have partnered with Misty Fuse on our Cherrywood Challenge. So Misty Fuse is a sponsor of the uh, Diana Cherrywood Challenge this year. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. I get a little distracted. So we were talking about, oh, the Aussie Critters. We're doing a Wednesday um, from 11 till 3 and again just sewing together. I will have some actual friends with me sewing and we will be sewing with you virtually. So that course is $100. And then the next course we have, we have two more courses planned but I don't have the dates quite yet. But I just want to give you a heads up that we will be doing chill which is my newest pattern and we will be piecing the back the background of this buffalo plaid check so this is three colors of cherry wood pieced together and then fusible applique and we have a little chill now this is so easy we can get this done in four hours and we can get it ready before christmas um, you can do some simple quilting and have it hanging before christmas and I love this design because it maybe not just Christmas. You can hang this up in October when, <laughs> whenever you get snow. We usually get it uh, November and hang it up for the whole season. So this course will also be $100. Includes all the fabric for the top and the binding and the pattern. And um, I believe this one you will get the fusible. Um, all the information is on our website. And it's actually on the home page right now because this is brand new. We just announced this. Um, we don't have the date set for chill, but uh, keep it in mind. Um, we'll let you know when we have that um, on the calendar. So don't order the fabric yet because it's part of the course. It's, it's part of the $100 that you're going to pay for the class. You get the kit. So kits are included in all of these workshops. And then the other workshop we're going to do is leaded glass. Gorgeous way to show off the intense colors. And we will have color, lots of different color choices for this because this is using eight colors. So perfect for any of our eight step gradations. This particular kit we're just calling red. And it's a combination, it's a colors are specially put together just for this quilt. But we have all sorts of other choices of kits for this course, um, including we do have Galaxy. We have a quilt made out of these purples and blues in leaded glass, but it's hanging up in the store right now and I couldn't get it down. So again, leaded glass play day. We don't have a, a date set um, quite yet for it. Um, so the best way to keep up on all this is to sign up for our newsletter, which you can do on our website and it's across the, at the very top of the website, click on newsletter, give us your email address and you'll be the first to find out about these courses and anything else that's happening at Cherrywood. So I will sign off again. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me and we will see you next week, Thursday at seven.